All right, internet, here is Ultraman Kaiju Rumble. Um, this is game number five. I know it wasn't the fifth one off. I told Spooky I was okay with that. Um, I feel lucky just to have one this early. Um, but uh, I did want to get you a quick video of the game, kind of first impressions. I apologize. I am the only one home right now, so I'm not going to be able to uh, record any gameplay. Otherwise, it's going to be one-handed gameplay, which I don't think is going to do the game justice. Uh, but I do want to show it off. Um, I think we can start with just the amazing art package. Um, it's just a, I mean, they just really knocked this game out of the park. Um, I think it's one of the nicer ice pa art packages on any game. Um, even down to, I mean, just if you look closely at the printing here, um, I don't know if it'll even show off, but there is a sparkle to that printing. Really kind of comes through on our uh, greens and our blues, um, but uh, it just looks fantastic. Um, our topper, not gonna lie, I like the Halloween topper better, but hey, topper is included in the game, so can't complain there. Um, a couple of other nice features, um, have our autograph there, I have no idea who that is, but I'm sure you Ultraman people, you know, huge fans know who it is. Our speaker grill covers, um, with our uh, illumination behind, uh, looks fantastic. Um, our nice display looks like it's been tilted upwards um, and has even changed how we um, open it up so easier access to the components back there. Um, and then let's get to the game itself. I mean, just a fantastic game. Um, no concerns. Uh, you know, my first several games about it, it plays super fast. Uh, I'm not honestly sure how uh, um, I have it set up. I might be actually need to uh, slow it down a little bit because it is almost too fast. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's start, um, kind of just going over some of the modes. So if you don't want to learn any of the modes or know how the game plays at all, um, now might be a good time to stop because I am going to go through what I've learned so far. Um, so to start out, um, there is going to be, you get to select one of the, uh, um, shots. So kind of, it looks like almost any of the shots can be selected for the skill shot. Um, pull the, uh, plunger, launch the ball around, you hit that shot first, you get the skill shot. Um... My game, it seems to, the uh, plunger seems a lot weaker than it was on the games they were um, uh, used for the uh, Jack Danger streams. Um, I cannot get it to go, you know, in here without doing anything for the life of me. Um, I, I think they might have gone too far in the other direction. And mine's, I, I would say, almost too weak. Um, springs are about a $2 part, not concerned. I will figure out what I like best and go from there. Uh, from there, um, one thing you could go right to is your pigment modes. Um, Pigman is a, um, a, a good kaiju, um, so he will start your modes by completing, or start a mode by completing the three drop targets, so our drop target bank right there. Um, there's got to be at least six um, to correspond with our Pigman lights. Pigman lights, I think that's how you say it. Um, and then that will light our quick battle modes at our scoop, with our beta capsule on the top, of course. Um, those modes, um, there's, I've seen a variety of them. I honestly don't know the name of all the, the kaiju that you're battling in there. Um, but, uh, it's generally shoot either the green or the, um, purple inserts, avoid the red inserts on some. Um, there seem to be a good variety. Um, I do wish you were able to select the, uh, kaiju you wanted to battle next. Um, just because, you know, I, I just think that'd be interesting to let the player choose what, which ones they want to go, you know, go for instead of having it be random, which it appears to be at this point. Um, but maybe that will come in code later on. Um, the other thing I, I would point out here is on our screen when we are battling those kaiju, um, it does have our episode playing in the background kind of. So select clips from those, uh, the battles with those kaiju. Um, and then it has Ultraman always on this side and our kaiju on this side kind of overlapping the screen. Um, so it does look fairly good. Um, I apologize, I'm sure those scores are, are horrible. Um, I've only actually only put about uh, 10 games on it so far, but I'm gonna keep uh, playing it after this. Um, anyway, those are the Pigment battles, um, our Kaiju battles, our Quick battles, whatever we end up calling them. Um, and then we of course have the three main modes, Baltan, Bemular, Juras, um, Baltan corresponds to, of course, our Baltan scoops on the side over here. So Baltan will pop out from the side of a building um, when we do hit one of the scoops. Um, alien Baltan, for those that don't know, is an alien that can um, kind of replicate himself or create clones or 
holograms. I'm not exactly sure what the the proper terminology would be here, but uh, essentially there are multiple of him in the game. So that is our multi-ball start. It makes total sense for this game. Um, but yes, he is hiding behind our buildings here, so we have to shoot each of the scoops. Um, once we shoot each of the scoops, then we start that multi-ball. Um, during at least the first mode of multi-ball, I, I know there's looks like there's at least three modes to get through. Um, during at least the first mode, we are shooting our uh, left ramp, and that will light one of the um, targets where he will pop out, or one of the scoops where he'll pop out, um, and then shoot that scoop to collect that all time. Um, it's really all I know at this point about that mode, other than if you do drain down to one ball, I don't know if, if it's only because I'm doing so bad, but I've often seen that this scoop is lit for add a ball. Um, so essentially go down to one ball, I can shoot this scoop quick, and I will restart multi-ball. Um, second mode is our um, Bemular battle, corresponds to our upper playfield, our first upper playfield, um, which can be reached, kind of hard to see actually from player's perspective, perspective, but there is a target just to the left of our scoop here, um, which quickly bends around and sends the ball lightning fast up to our upper playfield, not to be confused with our upper upper playfield, um, where we are going to be completing our car inserts by completing target, target, drop target, hit it into the drop target um, when it turns red to start the mode, and then I believe you actually get bonus points if you hit the headlight after that, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I didn't pay attention, I didn't get to that mode as much, um, but uh, I, I believe on Halloween, it somehow corresponds to these targets because I these, believe these targets are all the escaped pa patients from the sanitarium. Um, I'm guessing if they keep the code similar, it'll be something similar to do or something to do with those targets. Um, upper upper playfield um, is reached from our um, center ramp. Uh, the center ramp um, has a diverter at the top, so it's either going to kick the ball back to our... Um, uh, ball trough here, um, or it's going to divert it to our upper play field. Um, once it's on our upper play field, we are completing spinner loops. Um, so a spinner here, um, back around, if we actually leave this flipper up, ideally we're going to go around to this spinner and back around to the flipper where we repeat. Um, so kind of forming a super eight pattern. Um, Eventually, we are going to collect enough of those spins where we are going to be seeing this target, which is already down, but this drop target's going to drop, and we are sending our ball over the play field um, to this uh, dump trough. Um, I'm assuming something is going to be going on the play field or on the screen at that point, and then dropping it down. Um, quite honestly, I you know it could be to me it makes sense having a kaiju fall over. Obviously, it makes sense having a Michael Myers falling from the balcony. Um, so kind of fits for both games, I think. Um, only other really thing probably to point out um, is going to be our um, SSP, I believe, um, target back here. Essentially, this is a add a ball um, or a, no, I guess it would be a physical ball save. So I hit the target about five times. The last time it's going to pop up, locking the ball behind it. If I do drain and that ball is still there, I will be able to, you know, continue playing because that ball is going to drop out for me to play. Um, I know there were some concerns about, you know, not being able to know when this ball is coming. Um, during single ball play, I haven't had any problems. It's fairly obvious when the ball is coming out of here. During multi-ball is when I get confused. Um, and then, I, you know, I had certainly have lost some balls, especially on this side, just during multi-ball, not remembering that, hey, the ball is going to be coming out of here more often. Um, but during single ball play, no problem. I'm sure I'll get used to it during um, multi-ball as well. Um, someone did ask what would happen if, let's see if we can get a shot back there. So what would happen if you have a ball rolling across here um, when the servo activates? Um, first thing, and I think 99% of the time what's going to happen is this, because this is going to lift up, um, essentially this is going to form a a backwards ramp and your ball that's coming down is just going to kind of come to a stop up here until the other ball kicks out then when the uh, um, uh, the cover lowers uh, your second ball is going to come through um, if somehow you timed it absolutely perfectly what I think would happen is you would press up hard on here and your you know plastic insert would come off um, again I 
I think the odds of that happening are very, very slim. Um, maybe I could be proved wrong, but uh, I hope not to be. Um, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, in terms of these uh, lights, um, there is a uh, you know a diffuser kind of here. Um, so from the player's perspective, um, it's hard to, it's hard to tell, but uh, I'm sure this is going to look oversaturated. But it's not a problem. Um, I don't know. I guess, I mean, like I said, they, they said they are going to allow you to uh, dim it if you need to, but I, I do not think that's a problem. I think if that's a problem for you, um, pinball is probably not a good activity for you because pinball machines have lights on them and you're going to be looking at lights. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see where they can go for this. I, I really hope, you know, that they can, you know, insert a lot of these kind of cool kaijus into our pigment modes. Um, because, uh, you know, I think that's the one thing that, uh, you know, Ultraman, I, you know, I don't know Ultraman as well as I know something like Godzilla, but I do know and like, uh, these giant kaiju monsters, and I just want to see as many of those as possible, so I'm hoping we can insert, you know, just a, an obscene number of kaiju into this game, have, you know, a ton of different modes that we can get to, um, and I think that's what really could, uh, help this game shine. Um, so again, I'll just kind of back up, let you see the game again. I do apologize. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any gameplay videos in today at least, um, but I will try over the next several days to get some very amateurish, um, uh, you know, uh, games in um, so you can kind of see what it plays like. But, uh, you know, I've been having a blast playing it so far. Um, I think it's still early code. I think it's going to, you know, just continue to get better. Um, but uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, and I can't wait to show you more. So, um, I guess feel free to ask any questions you have. I'll do my best to answer them for anyone. Um, I know, you know, everyone wants information from Spooky, and I will always do what I can to allow them to continue to make games and answer questions um, that you might have that hopefully might take some, uh, you know, some stress out them and allow them to, to focus on what they do best, which is putting these fantastic games together. So, yeah. All right, we're over 12 minutes. I'm sure if you're still watching now, you are bored to death. Um, but uh, again, I, I'm i excited. So I hope you can, uh, you know, I hope to give you some uh, gameplay videos um, soon. And I will sign out. See you.